U.S. President Barack Obama signed an order on Friday to freeze all U.S. assets of Libyan leader Muammar Gaddafi and his children. Obama said in a statement that the move targets the Libyan government while protecting the assets that belong to the people of Libya. The sanctions came after hundreds of U.S. citizens and embassy personnel were evacuated from Libya earlier in the day. The U.N. Security Council agreed on Friday to consider sanctions on Libya. The Council is set to meet on Saturday to consider a draft resolution and says an action is possible against Tripoli at any time of urgency. Earlier on Friday, UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon called on the Security Council to take concrete action to protect Libyan civilians, warning that any delay will add to the growing death toll. France, Britain, Germany and the United States have circulated a draft resolution that would impose an arms embargo, a travel ban and assets freeze against Gaddafi and his entourage. The resolution will also call on the International Criminal Court to investigate the attacks on civilians. On Friday, forces back in Gaddafi's 41-year rule opened fire on thousands of protesters in the Libyan capital of Tripoli. Reports say gunmen on rooftops and in the streets shot at crowds with automatic weapons. Also on Friday evening, troops loyal to Gaddafi attacked a major airbase east of Tripoli that had fallen into rebel hands. Reports say hundreds of people have been killed in clashes during the past several days. But Gaddafi has vowed to fight on and called on his supporters to defend the nation. One of Gaddafi's sons on Friday told foreign journalists that rebels who surrendered would not be harmed and that Libya needs reforms. Saif al Islam Gaddafi also denied media reports that troops bombed civilians or were using mercenaries. Countries including Britain, the US and China are evacuating nationals and employees from Libya or closing operations because of the political turmoil.